So for the catcher, they need to make sure that they're kind of covering this area around here, back to the fence and then all the way around. Now, what they want to do is, if it's a pop-up, to make sure that they take their mask off because it gives them a better eyesight or sight line to be able to see more of the um, air or the field if it's up in the air and to hold on to the mask once they locate where the ball is so let's say there's a pop-up to over here they want to locate where the ball is once they know where the ball is they want to then throw the mask away because they don't want to you know run and step on the mask if they need to um, get the ball also another responsibility for the catcher is any bunt or ball that is hit kind of in this area is their ball. Now, a catcher will never pick up the ball that is batted with the glove. That is because it takes longer for you to bend down, pick up the ball with the glove, and transfer the ball to your throwing hand and then throw it. So whether it's a swing and the ball is hit here or here or bunted in this area, this is all the responsibility of the catcher. Now, if a ball is hit in this area and the catcher's coming out and the pitcher's coming in, the catcher needs to call off the pitcher in this situation. If they're both going to get to the ball at the same time because it is easier for the catcher who is right-handed throws with the right hand to be able to pick up that ball and throw it to the first baseman even for a catcher that is left-handed it is easier for the catcher to come out pick up the ball and keep the momentum moving towards first in a relatively straight line than it is for the pitcher to come up, stop, turn around, and throw the ball. So no matter where the ball is in this area, it could also be over here in this area, it is still easier for the catcher to get the ball and throw it than it is for the pitcher. Now, this is a judgment call. If the third baseman is coming in, it is easier for them to get it and throw it than it is for the catcher to get it and throw it. So a ball hit to here, there's kind of a, a level of who, has, who gets it first. Obviously, if the catcher is going to get to the ball before the third baseman or the pitcher, they need to take the ball. But if you're all going to get there relatively the same side or the same time, the third baseman is responsible for getting that ball, calling off the other two by saying me, 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 and throwing the ball. The second person that has the right to the ball is the catcher. And then the last person that has the right to the ball is the pitcher. Now, obviously, if the third baseman is playing deep for some reason, and the ball is hit here, and the catcher can only get out to here, it is the pitcher's responsibility to get the ball instead of the third baseman running all the way up there. So when it comes to tiebreakers, when it gets to the ball, for this side, it is usually the third baseman, then the catcher, and then the pitcher who has it. This side, it is usually the catcher, then the pitcher, then the first baseman that has first dibs at the ball. And again, I can't emphasize this enough. It is when you get there at relatively the same time. You don't want a ball hit here and the first baseman comes and stands there because they think it's the catcher's ball. You know, we emphasize this a lot in these videos and during practice. You go to the ball. If you can get to the ball first, then that's your ball. If it is a close play, one of you needs to call the other person off. If neither one calls the other person off, you should both go for the ball. That is the responsibility of the catcher when a ball is batted or bunted in front of home plate. 
the other responsibility for the catcher is any ball that is hit to the infield, specifically the to the second baseman. What we want the catcher to do is rotate over to put yourself in position by running because if the first, second baseman overthrows the first baseman, the catcher is going to be our backup. You don't want to just stand behind home plate and watch the whole play. You want to rotate. Now, obviously, this does not hold true if there is a runner on base as far as if a runner is on second or a runner on third because then that will move you out of position and then they'll easily score. Again, in this situation, any ball hit to the infield, the right fielder uh, should be moving towards the backup unless it's hit to the second baseman, which they should be rotating over to back up the play. So that is the responsibility of the catcher.